recording. Hey guys, Joshua Peterson here with Peterson Electric. Uh, having never done a video on cryptocurrency. Um, these are little machines. Notice right here on the back of it, it says 200 to 240 volt. That means there's a plus and minus factor of voltage of probably about 20%. So you don't have to worry about 208 or 240, but it is not three phase, only single phase, two hots, no neutral, three wire or two wire plus ground. This is an L6 um, 30R twist lock, 240 volt, so ground to here, ground same on the yoke, and 246 across here on this. We needed a two gang box because we brought in enough for 60 amps, but then put in the three port Polaris connectors I've showed you in the past. They stuff this side right here. He'll get a cover plate here and a cover plate there. And this is just for box fill here so we can tap. And they only run 24 amps. Um, some of you are wondering what about 125% for your wire size. The manual actually already stated that they did that. So in a nutshell, as you can see, this is just his main frame for mining. A little bit cleaner than doing coal in the past, right? So right here, this is a 246 outlet right here. He uses it for his car charger. This is one that only pulls 30 amps. So we went ahead and tapped that, came out of there, and put another 24 onto that, plus 30. We're right about 55 amps, but this wire is right at 90 degrees Celsius. So I'm assuming he's not gonna be charging these at the exact same time. So this is for this for later. But I think he's gonna actually possibly move this over in the future. He already has an evil car hooked up here. As you can see, he has an adapter for his cryptocurrency that went from a three wire, and I don't wanna unplug it, to a two wire. This three wire looked a lot like this over here. We use this for welders or kilns, pretty standard. Some RV plugs as well. It's a NEMA L650, three wire, 50 amp, and that's an L630R, 30 amp, 240 volt, 240 nominal, 240 nominal, three wire as well. So anyways, we just pulled all this through some half inch flex, put some notch plates on there in case they drywall probably wondering why I came out surface because right through here we're not sure but there's either about six two by four stacked or there's going to be an I-beam so we instead of digging through all that we just came out drilled two holes drilled into the back of the panel and came out and then just plugged those and mudded over um, I'll show you on this side we have the evil car right here at a 60 and then right here for his cryptocurrency i'm not going to label that it's just typically a garage plug and at that 30 amp other than that guys we drilled right through the back of the panel i don't need to open that up but it has a little fitting with the with the flex on the back with a seal so hopefully that'll help you guys out uh, let me know if you have any comments or questions on this keep in mind though these do run continuous um, so it is something that's not turned off and never gets a break but again, that's already been factored into his block right there. And what did you call that? Um, that that uh, plug-in unit? Power distribution unit. Power distribution unit. Okay, so that is already rated at 24 amps. So basically, if you run a 10 gauge wire there, you'd be completely fine. Keep that in mind. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.